Welcome to the Grumo Podcast, a weekly concoction of irreverence, humor, and signs designed to nourish your mind and brighten your day. My name is Miguel Hernandez, and in today's episode, I'll explain how eating brains has been unscientifically proven to increase human IQ. Are you ready? Let's do it. Brains, brains, brains. Mmm, yummy. Did you know eating two pounds of raw brain a day for a month can increase your IQ by 15%? Well, now you know. For the last two months, I've been eating raw pig brains for lunch and dinner. And now I'm officially 15% smarter than 30 days ago. I also have 30% less friends than 30 days ago. Not sure why. If I keep this up for two more months, I will be 45% smarter and 90% friendless. I'm not sure if my friends are leaving me because I'm smarter or because I've changed my diet. I have to admit, the more brains I eat, the dumber my friends seem to be. It's okay. I don't need dumb friends. I started to develop an appetite for brains while taking Fundamentals of Neuroscience, a free online course taught by Dr. David Cox at Harvard University. I thoroughly enjoyed that course, mentally, spiritually, and culinarily. If you're a zombie, you love that online course too. If you're not a zombie, but are curious about brains, you're not alone. Brain dishes are common in many cultures. Some people love scrambled brains with eggs. I've heard brain tacos are really tasty too. How smart will you get depends on how smart the pig was. According to an anonymous fake article by the National Enquirer, it's been unscientifically proven that pigs that were raised listening to Beethoven and read nursery rhymes cybernetically composed by IBM Watson from excerpts taken from De Brevitate Vitae by Seneca the Younger, have developed brains with an IQ twice as high as average run-of-the-mill piggies. Unfortunately, the only farm that bred those brilliant pigs went out of business after being raided by a swarm of apocalyptic zombies back in 1967. Not surprisingly, the farm was located smack in the heart of Area 51. Don't fret. A quick Google search yields hundreds of sites with easy step-by-step do-it-yourself instructions explaining how one can raise their own savant piggies at home. If you're not into brain snacks but are interested in nourishing your own gray matter with some tasty neuroscientific knowledge, I highly recommend you take a look at the aforementioned HarvardX course and or listen to a few episodes of one of my favorite podcasts aptly called The Brain Science Podcast by Ginger Campbell. My favorite episode happens to be the only one I've listened to so far. It's episode 133, where Dr. Susanna Herculano Hausel explains how she has debunked a few long-standing myths about the human brain. It all started when Dr. Susanna figured out how to accurately count neurons by making brain soup. For decades, It was assumed that the average brain contained about 100 billion neurons, but thanks to her brain soup recipe, Susanna was able to determine the actual neuron count to be only 86 billion. Apparently, we're 14% dumber than we thought. I guess it's time to make some brain soup. Peace, love, and myelinated cookies. Well... That's all for today. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to it, rate it, and share it with your friends. To listen to previous episodes, just go to grumo.com. That is G-R-U-M-O dot com. Thanks for listening. My name is Miguel Hernandez, and this was the Grumo Podcast.